Alright. Alright, we're gonna do another video. So uh, on the road to Arkansas. Actually I'm in Arkansas now. Um wish I could do this live, but it's whatever. So this video is gonna be um my review of Ghost Recon. Uh tried doing this before um, it was a 15 minute video and <laughs> the crazy thing is I, I did it from my laptop I've, I've never used my laptop to like upload videos I usually use I use that to um, connect my laptop I mean not my laptop but my PlayStation um, to the laptop if I was like somewhere like at somebody's somebody else house so I did recordings with the laptop or if I was at um if I was in my living room that's I use my laptop to do recordings uh, using Elgato software so yeah when I did it I didn't check the settings headphones um, recording options settings forgot to check all of that so now I'm, I'm redoing the review um, and we're gonna see how this goes if I can still remember because it's, it's been over a week since I played it uh, I did uh, did I trade that in yes I did trade it in with GameStop uh, they had a, a deal uh, I think it was like uh, trade value was like uh, 30% more than, than it usually was so pretty much traded it for like 30 something dollars which um, I probably could have I probably would have like uh, paid I mean sold it for 30 uh, in cash so it worked out uh, I buy my games usually uh, $48 if it's on PlayStation, $30 if it's on PC. So I made it out. I got I got $30. Uh, I traded in and I picked up Crash Bandicoot. So uh, yeah, $12 because you know here in the states it's tagged. So $12, $13. I can't remember. Uh, I mean, not bad. So, Ghost Recon um, Wildlands. Now, when I played the beta, I played the beta, uh, played with a co worker of mine, uh, Damien X22. He's uh, one of the guys on the, the podcast. Check his channel out. Um, we, we played it, played the beta, and we both liked it. Um, I like having a choice of either going stealth or going guns blazing and being successful either way. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot easier to be stealth. Uh, if you do stealth, um, it takes a lot more time uh, planning everything out. But I like that in a, that choice in a game of being either or. Uh, now, some of the things they have, like the drone. Uh, if you saw E3, uh, Assassin's Creed, um, Egypt, I, I can't remember. I, I think it's called Egypt. And they had the Hulk or Owl, whatever that thing is. I don't remember. Um, they had that. And you use that that hawk uh, just glide over like a drone, like they have in Ghost Recon. So you could tell Ubisoft made both of these games because it looks like the controls was similar. It's just that one was a bird, one was an actual drone. And you get you get uh, tag enemies. Uh, you could tag like jammers. Um, you can tag like um, machine guns. You, all right. 
So you can also get um, like what enemies have, what guns, are they heavily armored, are they just regular, like um, armored. Uh, you can unilats, uh, you can tag them, uh, you can tag. Um, yeah, I mean, you can tag um, the electricity, like electricity uh, generators. I mean, there's a lot of things you can tag, and I like that. I like that in the game. Um, what what I didn't like is when you're tagging, you get, uh, you know, I played most of this, about 95% of this single player, uh, just because it's just hard trying to get other people on you. Sorry about that, it's the road. It's hard trying to get people like on your schedule. Um, I, I have kids. So most of my game is at night after their sleep. So a lot of other people, they, they play throughout the day. I can't do that. So I have to play according with my schedule. Uh, I can't force anybody to stay up, play games with me. That's just how it is. Okay. It's that married, married and father life. So um, I didn't like that when you tagging enemies and you doing like um, so you can tag up to like three people so you have your snipers your team your AI team and it's like a um, it's like a shot you do you all do at the same time and a lot of times they be shooting like through buildings I'm like like they could have made it more realistic like like moving them around like they move around you still move around and i wish like you can like point to like hey i need you teammate you ai number one i need you in this location you get a good angle uh on a sniper on the roof hey i need I need you, I need you to uh, go around. I need you to like actually like get inside, get, get inside the gate, climb the climb the gate and, and take out these people in this building. I wish it was more like, more things you could do. You could control them a lot more. Uh, it would be nice if you could do that. Um, I kind of understand, um, uh, it being what it is because it probably be a lot harder to like do and and this game was probably meant for co-op I mean, you can kind of tell it was meant for co-op uh, I just for my schedule it's just very hard for me to do co-op now uh, let's see Another thing I didn't like was when you're when you're like um, it's a it's a lot easier to do it uh, single player than it is um, uh, co-op because they when when the enemies like um, not on alert your your AI is just like a ghost like they just walk right past them like even if you're they alerted if they alerted and and you're not like not in the area so you're not starting any like gunplay they will walk right past your a the AI like your uh, your team and not see them and just walk right through them and I really hate I really hated that like it just uh, it's one of the things in like Uncharted. Uh, Uncharted is like that, where you have a companion with you, and the enemy doesn't see them, um, and they just pretty much do what they want to do. Uh, got nine more seconds. We gonna go to another part.
All right, so um, what else? What else? Good. Uh, there's a lot of weapons. Uh, you can pick up parts like in different parts of the map, like uh, silencers, muzzlers. Uh, you can pick up um, like extended ammo, like all types of stuff. Customization was yeah, it's pretty good. I like the customization of the weapons, customization, customization, and the outfits. I stuck with the Assassin's Creed outfit, which was um, pretty much just an outfit. You can't can't make any customizations to it. Just a white outfit with the hood. So that was that was my main one. I made a I did make a navy one just to be funny. I thought it was pretty hilarious that they had the navy camouflage and W's. So I, <laughs> I made that first, and then uh, and I unlocked the Assassin's Creed uh, since I've been playing Assassin's Creed, um, play all of them except for the last two. So look out for that. I'm gonna be trying to play some get back to Assassin's Creed. Uh, I think I took a long enough break and it's time for me to get back to it. All right, so. Now, uh, what else did I like about this game? Uh, it's not professional <laughs> review, it's just my thoughts and opinions on, on the game. Just trying to remember. Uh, Oh yeah, so uh, the game had uh, every every gun didn't feel the same. Uh, a lot of times that happens in a lot of these games where the guns feel the same, even though they're different types, they all still feel the same. This actually like felt different. Uh, there was kickback in some of the weapons. Uh, the snipers. Uh, some get, can shoot farther than the other. The damage I don't think really mattered. One shot kill for the most part. Uh, um, all right. So th another thing I didn't like, man, that game was too long for no reason. I I know uh, if you, you guys watch VG. Uh, it's like there's such thing as too much content, and I. I'm a, tr I'm a firm be believer in that. That this game had too much content for no reason. If the if the game, like, like this thing, I already said this. Every open world game uh, repeats itself. I just how it is. GTA does it. Uh, Assassin's Creed does it. I mean, it's just the same thing over and over go to this area, get somebody, come back, interrogate them. Uh, I mean, it's just how it is. But it's just all about having fun doing it. And I felt myself like not having fun. It was just like, it's like, hey, I have to force myself to finish this game because I put so many hours into it. It's like, I'm not gonna just take this game that I have to play so many hours. Uh, go play another game. They come back, try to relearn it, all the controls. So I was like, that was that was my um, New Year's resolution: is focus on one game at a time. I kind of went back uh, to the old me a little bit when um, no Horizon Zero Dawn came out. Um, so I was, yeah, Horizon. I mean, I got Persona, Persona Five, Near games that. I need to go ahead and just stick to it. Uh, just burnt out open world games, long games. I just want to play like a, a normal, normal length game, 10 hour game. That would be very nice. So, um, yeah, that, man, it's so long. Um, they did give you an option. I'm trying, not, I'm trying to be spoiler free. You do not have to complete every mission. Now, I don't know if you have to just get to, uh, I think a cartel is what they call, or uh, or two of the main guys who's connected, two of the main lieutenants, I think that's what they call. 
Yeah, if you get two of the main lieutenants, you, then you, you can finish the game. So I think there's an alternate ending. Um, I didn't go, I didn't play, I didn't have no desire. I'm probably gonna look it up on YouTube, see what the other ending was. I completed the whole story. It was no point in me um, not doing the whole story after putting so much time in that game. I might as well have just complete it. Um, and, and it was, a, it was a, man, that ending, by far, that was that was very good. I, I like the ending of Ghost Recon. Wow, man. that ending was crazy. Uh, if you get to the ending, man, uh, this is this is just if you complete the whole story, man. That was that was pretty good. And I think this opens up a another game that could be a Wildlands too. I think that's going to open up. Uh, I hope they. I know they probably not going to see this, but. I hope some way, somehow, that they change uh, some things like uh, controlling your AI a little bit more, being uh, having more options like for your rebels. Um, I I don't know. Um, let me stop before I get get, get in the spoilers. But I, I'm not sure how the Rebels will um, play in Wildlands 2. You know, I'm, if there is a Wildlands 2, just gonna say that. Um, yeah, man, it was it was an okay game. Um, I glitched maybe twice, where I had to restart the game. Uh, I mean, that's not a big deal. To, at this point, uh, there were some missions that was pretty difficult. Um, I think I started at hard, and then I just, like got to a point. I was like, "Hey, I'm just like burnt out, I'm ready to get this game over." With, so I switched it to normal. Um, I don't remember where when I switched it to normal. Yeah, but it's a good game. Uh, a lot of times when you're in stealth, uh, enemies may just see you out of nowhere that you know you, you like hitting. Uh, but that happens. Uh, helicopter. Um, uh, that, I got used to the, the mechanics of the helicopter. Uh, the cars were a little bit sluggish. Uh, more sluggish with different types of cars, which that's expected for them, for like tanks and uh, like big trucks and understandable, but regular cars, um, cars that also have good handling, it was still felt felt weird trying to control them. Uh, also wasn't a lot of choices with the cars. I mean, could be because of where the set is located. Uh, which I think is uh, Mexico or maybe Cuba. I'm not sure. One of those uh, Hispanic countries. Um, yeah. Overall, is uh, I would say it was an average, a little bit above average because of the, the stealth mechanics. But I like you uh, know just having the ability to do stealth or guns blazing. So. Well, I'm going to give this game, with the amount of time that I put in this game, which was probably over 50 hours, uh, the, amount of, the amount of content that's in the game, it was well worth the money. It was, uh, I just, man, it was just too long for my taste at this day and age. I, mean, I, I can't play for hours a day no more. Uh, but. Yeah, it took me a while to beat the game, and I'm going to give this game a 7 out of 10. So, 7 out of 10 is not a bad score. Uh, it's not trash like most people, a lot of people are saying, which I don't care about um, other people's opinion. They, other people's opinion has no effect on my review. So, this is my honest review, 7 out of 10. And I want to thank you guys for watching. All right. And make sure you check out Military Gaming Podcast. All right. Peace.